What up guys? Here to talk about beard masks. Maybe not this one, but maybe. I've had a pretty wicked beard mask for the last two weeks as I switched my jobs and I've had to wear one of these surgical masks. And we're gonna talk a little bit about it. Just for reference, I shaved my head about a week ago, trued up the sides here and gave myself a little bit of a clean up around here. It was looking horrible at times. What I think I'm gonna do next is shave this mustache down. I might just play with it since, since it is a holiday weekend, but Martin Luther King Jr. Day, um, I don't know. I might wanna do play with that a little bit before I trim it. It does get pretty busted up inside this mask. So when you put on a mask, first of all, I have an extra large head and they do not make these big enough. You think this would happen by now. These ones are actually really soft. But uh, after an eight hour shift, they are cutting in the back of my head. So, and those like things that go on the back of your head, awkward and they don't work either. So anyways, you put on a mask like this, or at least a normal person would, that pinch here, kind of even helps hold the mask in place and if you have glasses. And then you're supposed to put the mask around your chin. You're not supposed to wear your mask with like your nose hanging out and all that. I'm not really into masks. Anyways, especially outdoors, especially in your car. Please don't be wearing one in your car. I'd love to hear why you do it. I've never met one of those people in person, in real life. I don't know if you are one of those people. If you are, if you're brave. You'd have to be super brave. Tell me why you wear it. Anyways, you're supposed to pull these around your chin. Pretty much anybody that has a head has a chin, right? Uh, but bearded guys, we we have chins, but we don't have chins you can actually see. My chin is not there. You can't see my chin. You can't see my chin. But, I mean, I can squeeze my whole, I can squeeze a good portion of my, I can get it around my chin. Uh, my beard sticks out pretty much everywhere. That's why I think it's really important to keep things tidy. I would even balm there. It gets trashed by the end of the day and we're at the end of the day. I'm actually gonna take a shower in a little bit and show you how to put on the mask the right way. Before I do though, here's my beard mask. Love this. I'm gonna put the name here. If she wants to drop, I'll share this video with her if she wants to drop her information in the bottom. If I put this on YouTube, go right ahead. But whoa, that's light. Here's my beard mask, super nice because the thing about mask beard is the is it does this like cut in right here and that's the one thing i love about my beard there's usually no cut in ever not naturally so if there's no such thing as a mask there would have been no such thing as a dimple or anything there i usually comb my hair how i want it to look right when i come out of the shower and it usually does that it does a good job this one's so nice though because it's got a really deep hook over the top most of these cloth masks don't have that. Very nice, just to keep your mask in place. And I think you need that on this type of mask. It's actually like a hard plastic or metal in there. And then the bottom just hangs free. And then it's extra long to cover and protect your whole beard. And I just loved using mine last year. Sometimes I feel like with the mustache, it gets a little bit hot under here just because not only are you trying to breathe through a two-ply mask here, but you're also trying to breathe through your whole beard. But I'm going to take a shower and when I come back, we're going to put on a fresh mask that will keep you looking fresh. Okay, this is about five minutes out of the shower. The best way to get a mask beard out of your face is to go in the shower. Just mess it up, obviously, as you're putting in the soap. And then when you come out, it should be free of being crazy mask beard. So I uh, just ran a comb through this about five minutes ago. Don't you just love that comb? And I'm gonna be putting in some Nicholas Beardworks Moroccan wood, a nice spicy wood link up above. Whew. High quality oils. One thing I don't mind is beard oil soaking up into these wood combs. They actually don't smell, but I don't mind it. 
I've been forced to use this medical surgical mask material for my job. I actually have to walk into my desk wearing one of these and then I can take it off at my desk. But this is how you do it. There's two versions. One I like and one I don't like. One is you can cut these strings at the bottom, tie it into a knot, put it over your head, and then the bottom's just dangling free. I think it kind of looks stupid. I'm not even sure if it would be approved at my work. What's the point, right? Unless you just want to fake it, right? But here's mine. Since we don't have a chin, you can't wrap it around your chin. Mask, pretty small, right? When it's all accordion styled and folded up. So here's what I've been doing at work. And it's been a little while now since I did the first part of this video. And I'm going to come back and show you. Uh, I even cleaned up my, this is another thing. I cleaned up my mustache. It was a bit on the longer side. I gave it a big cut in over a week ago. I don't know if it was two weeks ago. And I even trimmed a little bit up higher to take some of that weight out. And that's helped a lot. Here's what I do at work. I just fold the bottom part. And it's not much of a fold. And... I just do that. That's it. That's all I do. And uh, it's right there. It's like right on the edge of my mouth. I pull it down just so you don't know where my mouth is. It's obviously covering my nose and then I pinch there too, just to get it on. So um, covering my nose, covering my mouth, that's what they want, right? No beard dip. I mean, there's a little bit of a dip. Actually, this beard is the product of wearing it for a full eight hour shift and sleeping on it so this is what it looks like at the worst another the reason why i like this is it covers your nose covers your mouth it's secured no one's going to say anything to you you can't go into hospitals without a mask like this at least around here you can't go into airports without a mask like this so even if you have your favorite beard mask you still have to actually use this kind of approved mask but i like how you just put it on the front like this i wouldn't want to have to put something over my head or tie it behind my head. I like the coming on front version. And then you can adjust as you need it. Here's the before and here's the. So, chilling out at work. Yeah, you can kind of see a little bit right there of uh, where the beard is. You can pull that down even a little bit more. And when you take it off, boom, not so bad. That's not so bad, I can deal with this. Looking good. Uh, no bombs in the side, just took a shower actually. And that's basically it. Oh, there is another thing. Not only did I trim my mustache, which I said, but I also keep the side short, which really helps because those strings get in the way. Just makes for an overall nicer looking presentation. Anything you can do to keep your beard looking its best without a mask will help when you are wearing a mask. And I don't like the look of a beard with a mask, but good thing it's only for a short time. And with these tips, you can keep your beard looking as sharp as possible when you're not wearing your mask, or maybe when you just get out of work and you don't need to wear a mask, or maybe when you're driving in a car without your mask, of course. In my beard, I've got the best of the best. Magic of the dunes. Oh my gosh, man, feeling excellent on the Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday, by the way. Yeah, I'm filming this on Sunday. You should be seeing this today, Monday. And if you liked what you saw here, give it a thumbs up. Don't be afraid to say something down in the comments. That's how we interact. I actually exfoliated the skin, which I never do, and then threw on some uh, high-end cream on there. If you want to know what that is, link down below. Uh, yeah, feeling good, smelling good, doing good. Take care, guys.